G G G G G G. It's the broke ass podcast. This me your host Zini in the building. I'm here with a special guest. He want to introduce himself. Let's go. It's Sauce Root, aka Big Sauce, a bitch. I keep shit bracking, and they call me the God because I make shit happen. Man, D C R L E N G. It's bracket. It's not a battle rap, bro. It's a podcast, bro. I got to do That's, it every time. It's Brandon. Every time you got to do it. How you been doing, my brother? I'm good. Appreciate man. you. Appreciate it too. Y'all already know. Get into your battles and stuff later. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to know, what do you think about the state of battle rap I right think, now, locally and I think it's elevating. You know what I'm saying? I feel like battle rap is becoming a wave. I, I, re- I really mainly feel like that because maybe it's the fact that ain't nobody trying to hear what's on the radio, really. So if they, everybody looking for that real feel. like You know what I'm saying? That real shit. And they getting it from battle rap. You got to get that fix from somewhere. So that fix coming from battle rap. Okay. Do you think um, Smack letting the fans down with all the caffeine shit and not posting on YouTube anymore? I think everybody got to get their bag. You know what I'm saying? So I understand why you would collaborate with caffeine. But my thing with Smack is for the dedicated fans like me that have the app, it's like sometimes we got to wait too long. Like, the people that think they ain't got the app, think they got the wait. Sometimes we be waiting too. Then you got then you got battles like Chrome that don't even come on URL. So you got to get that from YouTube. I know, but now she was selling on demand for sixty dollars a pop. I almost bought it. That's why I'm glad you brought that up because Ooh. the battle everybody talking about now is motherfucking easy to block captain versus Hitman How. Yeah. And before we started recording, you told me Hitman won, and yeah. I don't think Hitman, so. Hitman, 2-1. So, so tell Hitman. me what you think. So first round. First round was Hitman all day. Right. All day. Second round was easy. definitely easy all day. Yeah, it was and, definitely easy. And I don't know how you give Hitman the third round when he freestyled half of the round. Because, man, it was just, he he's a vet. He controlled the crowd, even though the crowd was completely against him. The second round. And what I am learning now in battle rap, which I've been learning from my coaches, is it's an offense and a defense in battle rap. I yeah. did not know that. Yeah, so sorry like, that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way you act after the crowd didn't give you the round at all, some people would have just fell off. It would have been over. Like, okay, the crowd ain't fucking with me, so I'm just going to do whatever. It's a reason why in the second round he was like, the hate don't matter. Yeah, but he was whining a little bit. Like, it was everything, bro. I think yeah, like, he was just being a diva. Like, yo, come on, man. Because yeah, in my joint, if that shit would have happened to you or a young nigga getting up, they would have fought through it, but they would have fought through it differently. Like, he fought through it, but he fought through it like this, yapping at the crowd. He didn't fight through it with just rapping. Nah, he didn't. Like, he just kept whining. Oh, can y'all hear me in the back? They were like, yeah. And then he was like, no, they still can't hear me. Oh, I'm used to this. I'm da 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 That's why he now lost the third to me, and then he tried to come back with rebuttals. And then he going at the crowd. He won't even in his bag like that in in round three. He, he lost, bro. He had to, he had to <laughs> adapt to the situation. Bro, you just rap through it, bro. You got to. But he didn't. He whined through it. The second and third round, he was whining. Yeah, and he do that a lot. He did that in his last battle. That's him. Well, he got to stop. That's being a diva, nigga. He is a diva. He, he can't Only win a nigga. Being, only a nigga that raps about them being millions. Like, he has to let people know that he's worth millions of dollars in every battle. Right. Like, we don't That's know that nigga. Shit. Like, we know that nigga. You ain't get millions off battle rap, nigga. No. <laughs> so, like it don't it don't correlate. Mm-hmm. So that's why that's another reason he lost. And he's too professional to let the rookie. Technically he's a rookie. Yeah. Get him I don't care about the crowd, bro. I can watch Battle Rap without a crowd. Like, he had a great second round, but he was whining. He took away from the round. Yeah. Then he freestyled with all them damn rebuttals, them weak-ass rebuttals. That Nike slide line was garbage. Oh, yeah. That thing, that's really what fucked the second round. Because <laughs> even I was like, what the fuck was that? Really turn your bitch into some and, and I love it, man. And that's the reason why I don't write for the crowd reactions. You, That's when you can tell. You wrote for a crowd reaction. It went over the crowd head. They, nobody got it. It went over my head. I still don't fucking get it. <laughs> but it's like when you do when you do shit like that, my nigga, that gives the crowd the option. Okay, if the crowd don't get it, then it is boo, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like you don't do that shit. Yeah, but you gotta wrap through it. So let's talk about your last battle. 
versus Hoodie Belly. Yeah, I told him. <laughs> I told him. I, I told him, bro. I told them niggas I was going to fuck them up. Nobody believed that shit. Just like we was had the, when we had the, uh, our face off and he was like, I'm going to shake the room. No, you're not. He did pretty good, though. He did pretty good, but no, because he's never did that. Not, and not in that damn battle did he shake the room from bar to bar. Like, a lot of niggas be trying to cap. Like, I watch battles. <laughs> I'm going to watch, like, if, if I'm about to battle you, I'm going to watch all your battles. And I'm gonna watch them over and over. Like, I'm gonna watch them. I'm gonna watch them three times before I start rap writing. Like, I just watched all smoke battles. Like, I done watched them twice before I even started rapping. Cause I got to know how you move on stage. I gotta know what you gonna talk about, what you like to talk about. I need to know what's on your Facebook and Instagram page too, so I can goddamn see what type of shit you post. That's all, <laughs> right, That's all that battle rap. But niggas don't be doing that. You can clearly tell that he didn't. He didn't do that. Like, there was no personals. Like, it's nothing that, that he said remotely that could trigger me. He had a few hoodie. He had a few sauce flips. But, he had some dope sauce flips, too. Yeah, I can't but, remember them, but it'd yeah. be some sauce flip, like, like that 10 piece dipped in sauce. And, like, that's getting old to me now. Man. <laughs> I kind of predict that shit coming in. He 10 piece dipped in sauce. Right. Or a nigga saying something about I better duck sauce or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I kind of see that shit coming. That's just kind of fire. <laughs> kind of duck yeah, yeah. But nah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. you like, uh, your, one of your strongest attributes is motherfucking name flips. I think so too. Because you be killing them shit. Bro. I like, I, I like, it. I like flipping them names. Like, that man. Said, put them on that clear rinse, put them on the rack. Yeah. That shit was fire. I got, <laughs> I got the clearance to put a rack on hoodie and get them folded. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, right. And then that merchandising line where you was like, uh, then I put a tag on hoodie. Yeah. Merchandise. And I was like, it's just fire. Especially because yeah. I work in retail, so that merchandise hit home. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how many times I wanted to put a roll. Listen, I wanted to, I was, I was reaching for a roll back scheme, but I didn't know how. No man, now I, I'm, I can't even say it now. <laughs> I can't even say it now because damn, that's a fire ass bar. And you say you about to rap against who? Who you got? Who you Big got? Next? Smoke. Yeah, he the he the the. Let me see. He the people's champion with when it comes to 32 bars battle league. So we about to battle on the uh, championship series on Body Bag, April 16th. Hey, yo, that's what's up though. But how does it feel like, bro? You technically on the run right now. Man, I ain't yeah. saying you lose. It's like well, that one that we yeah. disagree upon. But the last you been yeah. smoking shit. Man, it feel it feel crazy because it's like going from doing it as a hobby to actually doing it and then it's like man when you when I when I see people in the uh streets and they know me I don't know them personally but we around the hood I might be in the store or something they be like hey sauce man what's good bro hey I see you on YouTube the dude in Murphy's he was like man I never thought I would see you Walk around, but your Facebook uh, say you stay in Clinton. He said, I never <laughs> see you around. He said, it's crazy, though, man. I watched all your battles keep doing your thing. And people call me after my battles and tell me that I'm doing a good job and they rooting for me. But it was like, it was hard work getting here. Like, oh, man, you ain't really going over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't really, you ain't really about to battle. You got to battle on the line in the parking lot. <laughs> it really, that's where it started, I'm battling across the line. We got to cut chicken, and I'm thinking of bars. This ain't nothing written down. <laughs> I'm thinking of bars in my head. We cutting chicken. I'm thinking of rebuttals, what I'm about to say back. Are we out there in the parking lot, maybe after work or something. Ain't nobody trying to watch us battle. Ain't nobody trying to record it. But just somehow, I met Uncle Willie. Well, Illa. Because Illa, somehow, Illa got up with Uncle Willie. I don't know how they got up with each other, but somehow... I finally got that shot and I took it. And this is, I think this battle right here is going to be the one where niggas really stop playing with me. Okay. So how, uh, who you battling? Uh, smoke. Big Smoke. And this is your... This is my... Man, because the dude ducked me in Fayetteville too, man. I know. I seen you in the car whining. I wasn't whining. You were whining. Where you at, bro? I had bars, bro. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> niggas should not be ducking rookies, man. Are you five years in the game? You should not be ducking rookies. I'm gonna tell the business too. The man hit me up. And said, oh lord. The man hit me oh, up. And said he pocket. was not prepared. He felt like I was more prepared than him. I don't know why though. When we both had since October last year to know that we was gonna battle each other. Damn. But here he come after my last battle and say that he don't think that he properly prepared and he wanted to reschedule. Now you gotta pay for that though. Did you reschedule? No, you gotta pay for that. <laughs> you gotta pay for your schedules. You didn't schedule nothing. <clears throat> you done told me, one of my questions was how do you prepare for a battle, but you done told, you done oh, told yeah. all that, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Trying to take my job away, but it's cool. Um, no. You said this your what battle? Seven, this, six? Okay, I got, I got to count them now. Then that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Cash, Superstar Ace, Break the Bank, Hoodie Battle. This is my fifth one. Oh, yeah. This, that means you got to make it special. Yeah, this is my fifth and one. And you said the dude is like a handful of battles now. So, <laughs> that was dope. I like that. The, and so, what's the dude resume that you battling? I think he's like, I think he's like one in six, maybe like, or something like that. He ain't got no more than like, Six, seven battles. It might be like one, one five. Okay. Like he got, he got a good record, but it's mostly stage presence. You feel me? It ain't. I don't feel. I don't feel like he can outbar me. And uh, he don't. I don't feel like I definitely. I haven't seen him do. I know my name flips is 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 way. Surpass his level. Yeah, but it's gonna be hard yeah, to do smoke you know name saying? flips without being know. simple. Without being yeah. simple. See, that's what I like. Got you said the ten piece death. nugget line. Yeah. Like, yeah. So he, it's the same thing with smoke. You can't come out with no cliche no, smoke lines. And shit. It's got to be because I heard like I done heard some. And when I watch, that's another thing I do when I watch people battles. I try to listen to what they said against you too because I don't want to be saying the same thing. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? Motherfuckers go out there. It was, I'm waiting on somebody to do it too. Like just going <laughs> going to a battle with a whole bunch of random or uh, random bars that you got from other opponents. Nah, nobody. Ain't gonna someone, do somebody's gonna do it. Watch. Nobody ain't gonna do that. So who would you say your toughest opponent was? Cash. Cash Davis was my toughest opponent. You didn't say his name in the joint. Who was that? Break the bank. No, no, it's my Cash. first battle. Oh, okay. was my first battle. Oh, that's the battle I think you lost. Yeah, that was the toughest one. And it was three rounds of that shit, too. Right. So, this one one round again? Yeah. All that's why these, I think you be skating on these niggas, too. All these is one round. <laughs> that's why you be skating on them niggas, too. That's why you be <laughs> skating know. on them niggas, bro. But I, I think you might struggle in the three uh, in the three rounds. The three rounds Three, five up. minutes? We got, uh, in the championship series, I think this might be... Okay, this is my second battle in the series. I might have one more solo one round of battle in the series. Like we might do I think I've got one more one rounder. And then it's a two on two where they paired me up against somebody else on my team. And we got to do a two on two together. How you think that's gonna work? I think it's gonna be fire. I got Two Face the Truth. That's his name, Two Face the Truth. That's a dope name. Uh, he's fire too. He a fire artist. He be he be rapping Charlotte, but he from Greenville. But he's fire. Y'all know who y'all battling? Nah, we don't know that yet. They know, but we don't know. Hey, let's go two on two. Yeah. Who who is your best two on two in URL? I mean, your best two. Mine is K Shine DNA. No, easy. It is. Wait. I would say, we talking about uh, not just right now, it was just period. Just period. The best two, oh, man, the best two you ever seen. Who was that? Tay and Surf. Tay Rock and Sue Surf. Oh, oh, no. Stop it. Stop it, bro, sir. Better dude. than K-Shine and DNA? Bro. Are you crazy? Nigga, those two. They only got like two of them shits, and they lost both of them. No, they didn't. All right, bro. You think, you think Hitman be easy, so I don't know. Man, come on. I don't man, know. Man, I, respect, you, I respect your pen, but come on, bro. Man. Hitman mm -hmm. definitely didn't win. Yeah. He definitely did. But to each his own, your opinion is your opinion. You know I'm going to go back and watch this shit tonight. I don't even know how long it is. I'm going to watch this shit Bro, tonight. shit yeah. is, is irritating. Saying, man. Man. It's irritating watching that shit because the crowd is disrespectful. Any, any the way, crowd is disrespectful when that comes Anytime the battle is an hour long, you know. You know it's the crowd. Let's you know, like, you then know, they keep running shit back. I can't stand to keep running this shit back. 
And Easy did steal the remix shit, but nah, he still won, bro. He, he won because to. he was the rookie, bro. He was supposed like, to. Like, even if you make it debatable, he won. There's no other point, because Hitman was supposed to smoke that nigga. He was. But I don't know what Hitman was on, bro. He, he just, he yeah. bougie now. Yeah, man, nobody got time for that. You ain't a shit, nigga, bro. You rich. <laughs> I don't hear that shit. Are you, you are not, you are, listen, you don't sell dope. You battle rap when you want to. You have your own show. You in the street, nigga, bro, you rich. That's a fact. You feel me? That's the difference between the street nigga hitman and uh, Nick Cannon, my homeboy hitman. So you think you're done for? You don't think you can come back? I don't think he can come He keep losing, I man. Mean, he keep losing, bro. It's starting to get played out now. That's because I already know what you're gonna say. I already know what you're gonna do. I know your, ch ch I know the move. I yeah. know all that. Shit. You're gonna remix like even I ain't gonna lie. The remix was kind of like cliche to me. I ain't never. I about to say I ain't never really like that shit anyway. Like I ain't get the whole. Oh my god! Like anybody could do that. Cause you came up with it cool. It's cool the first right. time. All you but did, after the tenth time, all you did was say the words and say it again. Right. right. He don't you say I'm backwards. He don't flip them. He don't do nothing. I'm with it. I ain't want to be shitting on Hitman like that. Yeah, he is one no, of my no, favorites. He ain't but, but he falling Shout off. Shout out though. to the homie. <laughs> but he <laughs> falling off, though. You feel me? Vets, man, you getting old. They got to slide away. So they got to slide out of the way for the new niggas. Like, yeah. So how many battles you got to do to be considered a vet? I feel like it's the years. I don't because, like, I done seen niggas battle 12 times a year. So it's like, but you still a, a rookie. This your rookie season, like. So you feel like you're still a rookie. So how many? So how I many got, years? You this think my you're this my second year in the game. I don't know. Second year, five battles in. So how many more years or and or battle? I think it depends on wins and loses too. Wins and wins and losses because this nigga easy to beat everybody, bro. That well, not everybody, but can't keep calling him a rookie. Right, bro. You can't keep calling him a rookie. He battled K Shine. He battled some of the top dogs like. You can't keep calling him a rookie when he beating everybody. Right. And I ain't watched so, all these uh, battles, but the consensus is he been beating everybody. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. Cause that was the first battle I watched it easy. Yeah, but, you know see, they, 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 but see, they say he undefeated, but he left, he lost the chess. They said it was debatable. Hey. Chess the monster when he ain't throwing up and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who your favorite battle rapper? Come on, Tay Rock. Ha, <laughs> mine too, mine too. Second, you remember we're going to get you top five. My second. I think we did this last episode, but let's do it again because it's changed. My second. Probably Clips. Yeah, Clips. I'm going with a third. Bless you. I'm going with a third. I'd probably say Easy. I like Easy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. I do like it. Yeah, top five already? That's because I constantly watch battle rap. So, like, rap. so I got the. And I'm always you seeing. You got K Shine, Run Nitty. No. DNA. No. Loaded. No. Daylight. Hell no. Daylight can rap. I have no respect for that. Niggas don't have no respect, but that nigga can rap his ass off. If no. he wasn't such a character, he would be at the top of battle rap right now. Bro, he just said some, some shit. He took a shit on stage, I know, but he can rap his ass off, bro. Y'all are wild. Bro, like, the nigga said he wanted to fuck Diddy. I mean, that's some wild shit, bro. I'm telling He's you. He's a wild ass. <laughs> I did I not know, know he said that. Never I mind. I ain't got no <laughs> Right, nigga, man. He's just wild, bro. Yo, I didn't know that, yo. You see the. All right, bro, I take it back. His feet? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, he got hand feet. Yeah, like what the fuck is going on? That still ain't got nothing to do with his bars. Hey, I can't, con I cannot condone this. I thing. get it, I get it. I can't either now that you said that shit. But still, I was talking about bars. Uh, like, I knew he was a character, but I didn't know it was wild like that. That's some crazy shit. That's I gotta put, I'm gonna put Jazz in there too. I'm gonna put Jazz the rapper in there because she's fire. I'm gonna put two girls in my top five. Now you pandering, bro. I'm gonna oh put two God. girls in my top five. This nigga said Tay Rock. Who did you say? Tay Rock Clips. Two of the greatest. Oh, Swamp, man. I mean, uh, damn, nigga. Uh, yeah, Swamp. I'll put Swamp in my top five. And Jazz, the rapper. Yeah. Okay. All right, bro. I had to throw Jazz it. out. I ain't even going to do my top Jazz five. Is that was fire. disgusting. I, that was the worst top I five. I want to hear your top I five. I hate that top five. My, my top five was going to be Tay Rock Clips, K-Shine, 
side. K shine rum nitty because they are one and the same. And Lux ain't rum Lux nitty. ain't left yet, nigga. Rum. Lux ain't left yet. Like rum yo, nitty. don't make Lux go grab the rum nitty is the great value. K shine. His bars are a little bit better. He got more no, bars than performance. No, he's not. He got more bars than yeah, performance than battled? K-Shine. How they battle? Yeah, they did a two on two. DNA and K Shine versus uh Rum Nitty no, and I need a, I need DG. A, I need them to go together. And them niggas got murdered. Murder. I don't know what the fuck that was. You show how. <laughs> And we back. And we back. <laughs> yeah. That nigga rude, bro. He was like one of my favorite up and coming battle rappers, like independent battle rappers and shit. But your takes up here are horrible to me. Like, I hate them. I'm sorry. What do you mean, man? Now, what do you think it? about Goods as a battle rapper? Play He'll be in my top 10. I liked it, Goods. It's here. What was the what was the battle, man? You liked it good. I think it was him and Geechee. Good versus Geechee Gotti. I mm -hmm. think. Geechee killed him. Yeah, but it was like that was just horrible. But I like Goods, man. I like how he talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like I fuck with him. I like the swag and all that shit. Like how the nigga like he's a he's a teacher rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can learn. You can learn something from his bars. Like he don't. He don't get into all the. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I, he is. A, I'm gonna show you this type nigga. Like he's gonna sing you on stage. So I like that man. I like that about. Him. So what's the best bar that you think you have ever spit? Like you know it was like classic. That boom. Best bar. I. I'm. The 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 bar niggas reference the most is the the super gremlin bar. To this day, like uh, they still, everybody still like that was there. I, I know that's a lot of people' favorite bar. I like that bar too. I go. It was. Uh, I know you was fake, but I still popped you, bitch. Yeah, I was super gripping. Yeah, I was like, what I say? <laughs> I said, I said, see, that's the problem with playing a superhero. You run into a super villain, a nigga like me. I'll pop you like a perk. He can know I know you fake, bitch. I'm a super gremlin. <laughs> that was the one I was there for that. One. Yeah. <laughs> I, was I don't there know. For that one. Oh, what's your second one? You got one, uh, or, or what's the best bar that was used towards you that that made you like, oh shit? The fucking. <laughs> uh, okay, with cash, it was like he was like something, something. Then I catch him under the wing. You better duck sauce. <laughs> I was like, damn, that was fire. But with Ace, what the fuck? Ace said something about, uh, Ace said, see, I'm starting to get the pictures. Though he was like, I, I don't know if he meant to do this. I think it was all freestyle. He had to be. But he, he said, let me see. He said, let me sip my water. Hold on, I got some shit. Let me sip my water. He said, see, I had to preserve my energy to observe my enemy. I'm starting to get the picture. The Mona Lisa on the wall was staring at six figure while the Pyro niggas was robbing with bitch niggas. And I was like, <laughs> I right, slap the fuck out you. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. How hard is it to that? How, speaking of that, how hard is it to keep your composure, bro? Because that's why I could battle rap easily, bro. I probably, I probably bar you to death in a battle rap. But I can't take it. I'm too emotional. Like, they, the moment they say something about my kids or somebody, I might be like uh, K Shine and not K Shine, like a hitman back in the day. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know how I keep my composure. I really be. I be drunk most of the time. <laughs> That's even worse. That's when you're, you like, what's it even shorter? Your fuse is shorter when you. I be, I be tuning in in that shit. Like, I don't know. I guess it's the fact that I never believe these niggas is gonna do nothing. Like, I never believe it. Like, it's not, <laughs> it's not one nigga that I battled that I was like, well, this nigga right here, like, well, my ass if I say this, or this nigga might go to my ass. Like, no. So when you write and you don't think about, ah, the shit. You ain't oh. never wrote a line and be like, that might be too far. And like, don't wrap the line. No, I write for that. 
Okay. Like, I, I, <laughs> I want to go too far. Like, I I really vision. It's going to be a time where, in battle rap where, so, where, where to do, somebody's going to get mad. I know. <laughs> I know, because I already tell you that, like, I talk about people, kids, their mamas, all type of shit, like. When I, when I battle break the bank, I was like, uh, I said, I said, I said, that's all right, though. We still pretty right. good. But I said, and your daughter, did you uh, did you think of her? I said, uh, I said, you call yourself breaking a bank, but losing in your life, can you afford it? The thought of your daughter becoming an orphan while you on life support with your life insurance supporter, funds are going to college. Now I wasn't sure of her. She had dreams of becoming a lawyer. Now she wishes she was aborted. Post-traumatic post syndrome disorder. Cause her father died, tried to break the bank, and now she forced to live Porter. And your baby mother has to resort to horror. Say that bitch, I'm a pimp in red uniform. It's my honor to endorse her. And your mother, did you think of her? Her pain and suffering? All her life, she broke her back to keep the bank in tech and went bankrupt from it. Now she got to cope with the fact that her child is a ghost-like beloved. You don't think that hurt her heart? When the body gets viewed and the only reason they knew it was you cause it was a bullet saying your name touching her inside part. Uh, uh, like, <laughs> I, I be trying to take it there. The shit where Ace, Ace's wife was there. I was, I was like, shit, I wouldn't move. I said, if niggas was after me, I would have moved too. And I wouldn't move to the suburbs with old white bitches like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, Cash. Right, when I battled Cash, I was like, uh, I said, I said, I'm playing house with bitches twice my age. Cash, you probably my kid. If you is, tell her I want that money back for that abortion. Nah, this year for Christmas, she can finally get you what you wanted. Yeah, yeah, right. Again, uh, uh, Buddy Valley, you, know, you know his daddy, he was talking about how his daddy, you know what I'm saying? See, that's disrespect. That's it. That's it, disrespect. I said, you call, <laughs> he's about real life bars. I said, do you call real life, I said, real life bars, do you call that when you were in the middle of your round and you felt the need to express the fact that your daddy was battling his addiction with snack? No, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, like, I would take it there. So, smoke. You be ready, smoke, because I know you watching. Yeah, you, little Smokey. I know you watching. You be little ready. Smokey. Be That's ready crazy. to take it there, little Smokey. That's crazy. Because it's going down. So, before we get out of here, bro, you want to talk about anything going on in the world? Some sports, some anything? Y'all got to quit being scared of me, man. I'm, I'm on the. <laughs> This is my fifth battle, bro. Y'all got to quit being scared of me. Bro said I was fucking whining, but y'all don't understand. <laughs> that I sit here and write for y'all. I make these fire-ass trailers that, you know what I'm saying, be hyping. I'm dope with the promo. And then niggas don't be showing. If you scared to battle me, say that you scared to battle me before I start the damn promo trailers. That's all I'm saying. Big Salsa Bitch, Natural Born Salsa Holla merch coming soon, man. You fuck with me. DCRL. Third City Battle League. I guess that's how we giving our shout outs to end the episode. You no, know we ain't got to end the episode. I'm just saying, saying that's what was bothering me, bro. Y'all got to quit, <laughs> quit, quit ducking the sauce. Man. <laughs> Real, man. Damn, that's, that's all I got to say about I said, you, is there anything man. in the world you want to talk about? Hey, yo, y'all niggas got to stop being scared. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, bro. We got it. <laughs> Up, That's what he's mad at the world, you know what I'm saying? Damn, <laughs> man. Battle rap is the world. I live in a world of battle rap. I think Smack uh, fucked battle rap up a little bit. Shout out to Remy. Yeah, bro. Right, man, so I that. understand getting your bag, bro, but depriving your day one fans is, is trash. Because everybody get the bag. Like, yeah. Joe Budden got the goddamn, he got his Patreon. That you gotta subscribe to for ten to twenty five dollars or whatever to get like extra episodes and whatever. But every week he dropped a podcast on YouTube for the people. Smack just took everything away, but yeah. he keep putting announcements and face off. You put that on YouTube, yeah, nigga. And then the URL app is trash. It is. So now I gotta either catch the battle live or not or not see it. Like no time at all. I was cool and waiting then, four or five months. But nigga, you don't put it out at all. That's some bullshit. And to me, that's hurting the culture. And you giving niggas all this money for lackluster rap. 
it hurting the culture too. Right. Damn, I'm trying to fucking tell you. You know, you know what else is hurting the culture? Is the goddamn the sixty, seventy goddamn dollar tickets. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> nigga, I want to go. Now you gotta pay. That ain't, that ain't a lot. It's not bad. Let's see, eight nine battles, seventy dollars in a lot. I ain't yeah. mad at that. I ain't mad at it's that. It's eight nine battles, but we got five. I even be four. cool if he put this shit and be like, "Yo, pick the battle you want to see. Pay ten dollars. I would have paid ten dollars to see Easy, Jet Easy, and Hitman." Yeah. You can do some shit like that. You don't got to do, nigga. You got to be on this caffeine app. Yeah, but you know. Or you're not going to see the battle. You know, niggas going to slide in. You pay that $10. If you pay $10 for that first battle, you're going to go to the bathroom or something at the, at the end of the battle. <laughs> <laughs> I would stay in the bathroom <laughs> until they start the next battle. <laughs> <laughs> we, I'm talking about on your phone, bro. I'm talking oh, about like yeah. YouTube and shit. That nigga said, you know niggas gonna stay to the next battle. Oh, yeah, shit, but nah, that, that, that could work like that, though. Yeah, you right. But yeah, man, we about to give a shout out some shit since she ain't wanna talk about nothing in the world except for people being scared of you. I am Big Salsa. <laughs> the Salsa guy, I'm him. You know I'm trying to tell y'all. Uh, y'all look and watch all the battles, championship series. You gotta tell them where to watch it at, where to follow you. Yeah, at. listen, subscribe to Body Bag Battle League on YouTube. They drop all the battles. But my battle, my, look, woo, subscribe to 32 Bars, because my battle is on 32 Bars for some reason. But subscribe to 32 Bars, but we're gonna get to, we're gonna get into that on April 16th. I ain't gonna give y'all too much about that right there. We're gonna get into that April 16th. But yeah, subscribe to 32, uh, 32 Bars Battle League to catch uh, two of my battles. And subscribe to Body Bad Battle League to catch the rest of the championship series. Big Smoke versus Sauce Rue, April 16th, Independence, Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina, yeah. And subscribe to the Broke Ass Podcast. If you Always. disagree with anything we said on this podcast, leave a comment down below. I guarantee you I'll get back at you. Anytime you want to you wanna catch up on Big Salsa and what he doing with my next battles and my after battles, you catch me here first hey. on the Broke Ass Podcast. Bam, 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 bam. Let me give a shout out to my homeboy Mario High Smith and his wife Raven. They got married today. We just left that reception. It was lit. So you know nice. what I'm saying? Shout out to my beautiful wife for sitting over there doing nothing while we do this interview. I love Thank you, baby. You. <laughs> and shout out my kids. Shout out Aunt Bird. Oh, matter of fact, shout out my nigga Dre. He just dropped the uh, mixtape, duct tape to the microphone. He got all the Clinton up there, motherfucker, man. Salute. We out. Yeah.